Hi everyone, Miss Kathy here with this week's Moment for the Young at Heart. How are you all doing? I hope you all had a very good week. This week's Bible lesson comes from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 1 through 9, but I'm just going to read actually 6 through 9 for you for our part of the lesson. The book of Philippians was written by Paul, and it was written to the Philippians. And in it, he told them, don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about these things. Do what you have learned or received or heard from me. Follow my example. Then God who gives peace will be with you. So what are some things that you worry about? Just think, maybe say out loud. You can think them to yourself either way. Well, this passage tells us that God doesn't want us to worry. God wants us to pray about things that worry us. God will give us peace even if we don't know what will happen. Now, I know that's easier said than done. Um, I know, you know, I worry. I have things that I am worried about, um, especially as a parent. Um, but I don't know, we had some storms this week. I don't know if you guys remember. I don't know if you were in school or if you were maybe at home doing your distance learning, but we had a line of storms roll through and even that uh, had me a little bit worried. And that's kind of hard for me um, to get worried for storms, but, um, but we do worry. So what do people look like when they worry? Can you show me and make a face of what, or show your parents, make a face of what your parents look like when they worry, or maybe what you think you look like when you're worried? Now, what do people look like when they're peaceful? Same thing, show your parents, your siblings, or just, you know, make a face of what you think people look like when they're peaceful. So have you ever been afraid? Maybe you felt lost when you were in a store and you didn't see your mom or dad right away. I can tell you if that happened and they didn't see you, they were worried. Maybe someone you love is very sick. How does that make us feel? That can definitely make us feel afraid. Then it can be hard to think straight because we can't get the worry out of our minds. When Paul wrote these words to the Philippians, his friends that he loved very much were worried about him. You see, Paul had just actually been arrested and put in jail for teaching about Jesus. Paul knew that God would take care of him though, even in jail. And he wanted his friends to feel the same hope and joy that he felt. So Paul tells his friends in the letter he wrote to them to tell God all of their worries, to ask God for help, and to thank God for all of the good things that God has done. Notice Paul didn't promise his friends that God would immediately get him out of jail or even take away the difficult things that he was going through. Paul did promise that God would answer their prayers by giving them peace and reminding us that God is with us even when we are going through hard times. When you are afraid or worried, remember Paul's advice and think on the promise from God that God is always with us. God will never leave us and God will give us the strength to carry on when life gets hard. So let's pray about our worries. I'll begin the prayer. And then there will be moments of silence where I want you to follow the directions in the prayer, okay? So let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for inviting us to pray about the things that worry us. We want to tell you right now about some things we're worried about. Now, silently tell God some things that you worry about. Maybe problems you're having at school or at home. God, just as the Bible verse said, we want to bring our prayers to you. Here are some things that we need. Now, silently tell God about things you need. Maybe it's good food to eat or being a good friend to someone.
God, we want to tell you some things that other people need. Now silently t tell God about things you know other people need, such as healing from sickness or maybe a safe place to live or go to. Thank you, God, for listening to our prayers and for replacing our worry with peace. In Jesus' precious and strong name, amen. Amen, and I hope you all have a wonderful week.